Well, it's significant for two reasons. One is that it fills a gap in the fossil record between primitive long-tailed pterosaurs and, long, uh, sorry, and short-tailed advanced pterosaurs, but also it hints at a special kind of evolution which takes place rather more quickly than your standard background kind of evolution. If you'd seen one coming flying towards you, your impression mainly would have been of some very large wings, a large bird-like skull with an awful lot of teeth in it, and some pretty big claws, and it probably would have been about the size of a raven, I would imagine. Pterosaurs are flying reptiles. They may be related to dinosaurs, but they were a completely different group, had a completely different lifestyle. They flew around in the sky. Dinosaurs, of course, mostly very large creatures, lived on the ground. Um, that's our sort of current understanding of the difference between pterosaurs and dinosaurs.